In this video, I will cover 10 tips that I wish I knew before I made a career switch. Talk to someone in a career you think you want. Are you sure you want to switch careers? There's only one way to find out, and that is to actually talk to someone that is already in that career. And it might be in your friend group or in your network, but in LinkedIn, there's a lot of search options and a lot of times people are willing to talk about their careers if you ask them politely. Tiptoe into a career. So you're pretty sure what you want. So now it's time to actually experience it. So time to get humble and find your master. There are several ways that you can uh, start at the bottom. A good one is an internship where you can just learn on the job um, and do some uh, small stuff, but really experience the career. Uh, there are boot camps where you can uh, start learning the skill. And then from the skill on, you apply for a job. And this is uh, pretty difficult. So um, yeah, an internship would be uh, easier to roll into a job, but uh, the uh, advantage of a boot camp is that you already have the skill. So you need to figure out for yourself what suits you best. And another way, uh, a pretty nice way, I think, is to uh, proactively contact uh, companies and offer your services for free. Because when they take you uh, on board, normally they would have to sign you a contract, pay you a salary, and even for internships, that's the case. So if you offer your services for free, you take away all the risk from the employer. And when things don't work out, they can get rid of you easily and you can find the next one. But of course, you're willing to give it everything because you chose this career and you will make sure it works out. Don't be afraid to start at the bottom. Now you found a master and a place to work and experience the skill. It's really time to get humble because uh, most of the time when you make a career switch, you already build up some skill in your previous career and it can be really hard to stay humble because you are not used to it. But when you make the career switch, you have to realize that you start from the bottom and you don't have a senior position anymore. So it's good to realize that and that there is a long road ahead to become senior again. Prepare for imposter syndrome. You were a senior before and now you start from the bottom. There is no possibility anymore to talk from a confidence that comes from your skill. Because a lot of time when you're in a senior position, you feel comfortable because you are a senior. And that's now all gone because you start from the bottom. And this can feel really uneasy at the start because there's no foundation for your confidence. Where do you get it from on a professional level? And that's really where the imposter syndrome kicks in. And sometimes it's really good to realize that when you are talking from that uh, junior position and when people are saying to you you did a great job that you accept it and that you uh, believe the people when they say it so don't stay in that place from uh, of course you need to be humble but also uh, believe the people around you when they say you did something good so um, another thing when you realize that you did something good is to celebrate it and you celebrate it, but then don't forget to get back on track and improve your skill. Don't ditch your skills from your old career. A lot of times your old skill is interchangeable or can be combined with your skill you're trying to pursue. So don't bin it right away and see how you can integrate it in your new career. Because skills like communication, project management, some leadership skills, those skills often are interchangeable across careers. So another advantage of this is that when you integrate those skills into your career, you will be more unique and you will stand out because you have the combination of the skills. Don't wait for approval. When you switch careers or you decide to switch careers, you'll probably have some people advising against it. But the key here is that you don't take it personal because it comes from the best intent. They will probably care for you, but also realize 
that they're projecting their own insecurities on you. All the things they're saying to you are things that they are afraid of and not you. So in the end, really do what feels right to you and follow your decision. So even if they turn out to be right in the end, then it's still your mistake to make and not theirs. You need to learn from it and you also uh, want to be able to say that you at least tried it. But there's a big disclaimer to that and that is this is not an excuse to start acting irresponsible. Because when you switch careers and you have a family to feed, there are some steps in between, some stuff you need to take into account. So really make sure that when you do make a decision that it is a responsible decision. Be prepared to get rejected a lot. Not all companies are interested in investing in juniors. So really make sure that you write a lot of applications to a lot of companies. Maybe you write 10 applications and you get invited for one. And that's the way it is. So you should accept that and don't take it personal. It's just the way the business works. Be honest and tell your story. When you are writing those applications a lot and you do get invited, it's chances are big that people want to hear your story. How did you switch careers? How did you manage that? So be honest about it. When you are honest, telling you wanted to switch careers, you find another passion. That for the companies that do want to invest in juniors, they really like that story. And it also shows them something about your personality. So be sure to tell that story when you're invited and don't hide it, but just do you accept the dark side of the career? Every career has a dark side and you have to be willing to accept that. And it's good to realize before you make the career switch that you don't compare the dark side of your career to the nice side of the new career, because every career has a dark side and you need to be aware of that. And if you are aware and you don't mind, then please go ahead. And if you want to find out what those dark uh, side of the career is, then be sure you ask the right questions when you talk to someone in that career. Ask them, what do you don't like about this? What do most people don't like about this? And that way you can get a good feeling about the dark side of that career. Do the things you like in your current career. It's not always needed to switch careers. A lot of times there's a possibility to do the things you like in your current position. So the only thing that's holding you back is to just do it. And if it's not okay, you'll hear it soon enough from your boss. The advantage of this is that your boss might think, hey, I see you doing this uh, stuff. I didn't know you liked that. I have another position there. Would you like to help there? So this is a really great way to uh, move to a position you like in the current company. And if in the end it doesn't uh, work out, there's always the option to switch careers. There is a lot of stuff to take into account when you want to switch careers. Please make sure you think about it and that you prepare and talk to other people in the field. Another pro tip for me is when you do find a career that you want, be the person that you needed when you wanted to switch careers. Make sure you give something back to the community. If you like this video, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. Do you have experience in switching careers? Do you have something to say about it? Did I miss something? Please let me know down in the comments. I'm very curious to hear that. Bye.